Little Miss Greedy by Roger Hargraves. Little Miss Greedy certainly was. Greedy, I'll say. As greedy as a giant. And giants are really very greedy indeed. Little Miss Greedy lived in Cherry Cake Cottage. <laughs> One lovely summer morning, a Monday. Little Miss Greedy awoke earlier than usual. She felt rather hungry. As though she went into the kitchen and cooked herself some breakfast. Some breakfast indeed. Sausages. Now, if you had sausages for breakfast, or if I had sausages for breakfast, how many sausages would you have? One? Perhaps two? Perhaps three? Now, how many sausages Little Miss Greedy has for breakfast? Sixty-six. Go on, count them. Sixty-six succulent, sizzling sausages. Which is difficult to say. And even more difficult to eat unless you're Little Miss Greedy. <laughs> Little Miss Greedy cut the last sausage on her plate in two and popped one half into her mouth. Mmm, she sighed contentedly. That was nice, she thought to herself. Now, what else shall I have? Guess what? <laughs> toast! <laughs> now, if you had toast for breakfast, or if I had toast for breakfast, how many slices would we have? Perhaps two, maybe three. Guess how many slices of toast Little Miss Greedy had for breakfast? Twenty-three. Twenty-three thick, tasty slices of tempting toast and marmalade. Just as Little Miss Greedy was licking the last crumb on the twenty-third side of her toast for her lips, there was a knock at the door at a Cherry Cake Cottage. It was the postman. Letter for you, Little Miss Greedy, he said cheerfully. Oh, good, smiled Little Miss Greedy, for she liked it when somebody sent her a letter. Would you like a cup of tea while you're here, she asked. I'm going to have one. One to eat. Just look at the size of Little Miss Greedy's teapot. The postman had one cup of tea and a chat, thanked Little Miss Greedy and left. Little Miss Greedy poured herself another cup and another after the 11 cups she already had. And opened her letter. It's from her cousin, Mr. Greedy. Dear little Miss Greedy, he had written. He always wrote to his cousin this way. Next Wednesday is my birthday. Please come to tea at four o'clock. Little Miss Greedy was delighted. She hasn't seen her cousin for quite such a long time. Wednesday was a lovely day. After a little light lunch, I'll tell you what later. Little Miss Greedy set off in her car to drive to Mr. Greedy's house. Before she set off, she put something on the back seat of her car. Something large. Mr. Greedy's birthday present. At four o'clock, precisely, little Miss Greedy pulled up in front of Mr. Greedy's roly-poly sort of a house. Mr. Greedy was there to meet her. Hello, little Miss Greedy, he smiled. How lovely to see you after all the time. Happy birthday, laughed Little Miss Greedy, and she gave Mr. Greedy a big kiss. Mr. Greedy blushed, do come in, he said. Tea's all ready, and Little Miss Greedy was following Mr. Greedy into his house when she remembered something. You know what it was, don't you? That's right, Mr. Greedy's birthday present. Wait a minute, she said. Can you help me to lift something out of the back of my car, please? She smiled. It's rather heavy, she added. Certainly, agreed Mr. Greedy. <laughs> there in the back seat of Little Miss Greedy's car was the biggest birthday cake you've ever seen in all of your life. An enormous, giant, colossal currant cake with thick pink icing on top and strawberry jam in the middle. I only put one candle on it, explained Little Miss Greedy as she carried it as they carried it house. Because I've forgotten how old you are. Oh, you shouldn't have, laughed Mr. Greedy. He licked his lips. But I'm glad you did. 
<laughs> I baked it today, said little Miss Gritty. And then she chuckled. I have a confession to make, she said. This isn't the only cake I baked today. The first one looks so delicious. I ate it for breakfast. She chuckled again. And the second one looks so delicious, she went on. I ate that one for my lunch. <laughs> Mr. Greedy grinned from ear to ear. Time for tea, little Miss Greedy, he said. <laughs> no, nope, boy, that butter poop is a cat. Why is the she my favorite character? <laughs> I need to edit the whole wide world that contains her. <laughs> For the Mr. Mensha season three. And she needs to be in that. And you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna have tea for my friend, my sister, who looks like me. And it's Stella Sticky. That is a nice name for a stick. Oh, <laughs> I think it's some E Gads. I like a <laughs> I should not attack people. You know what? I'm going to upload. I'm going to upload the Harvey. <laughs> Steep. I'm going to upload something on April Fools. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck.